Yeah. 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 Cool, so I'm going to get started if that's cool with you guys. Uh, awesome. I, I know we're a little bit early, but I have a lot that I'd like to cover today. Um, my name is, I'm going to start. Guys, be starting. Oh, right. So my name is Mike Campbell. Um, I've been in WordPress now as a designer and a s small developer. I wouldn't say I'm an amazing developer, but um, I've been in WordPress for about six years now. I started on the platform uh, working for a church, and I did communications for the for the church as well. Built the website. Um, then I got let go, and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do my own business. So started consulting and doing some of that. And uh, just have been so overwhelmed and in my business that I haven't had a time to actually do what I said is like blogging and all the other stuff. So that's my goal this next year. I'm going to be spending lots of hours and probably in front of the computer and falling asleep. So, um, so uh, this is basically a workshop around building a business around WordPress. And I want to start it out with just a quote here from Steve Jobs. You know, your work is going to fill a large part of your life, and the only way to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work, and the only way to do great work is to love what you do. So, you know, looking at that, it's it's something that I've really enjoyed, um, just going from, you know, working in a communication standpoint to actually teaching people how to use this platform. Um, so first, who's doing it? What exactly are they doing with WordPress? Dan Norris started a company called WP Curve. They offer a WordPress support business. He offshored all the development. Everything is in a, it's a $69 a month fee. You can send them un unlimited revisions. So if you want to have a blog post updated, you want to have graphic designs done, anything on your WordPress site, 69 bucks a month, wpcurve.com. Amazing agency. He just wrote a book on entrepreneurship called The Seven Day Startup. Amazing book. Matt Medeiros, he uh, is a blogger around WordPress at themattreport.com. He also owns an agency in Massachusetts. And he just built a plugin that does uh, kind of like um, drag and drop editing. So you're seeing a lot of those enter the WordPress space now um, compared to your WYSIWYG editor. Born Creative, Jennifer Born and Brian Born, they created an agency and they do strictly marketing branding. Amazing agency. Brian Gardner. Brian Gardner created the Genesis framework. This is one of the largest frameworks used in WordPress themes. Um, it's very simple, and I, when I say simple, it, you, it's still got a learning curve, but it's a lot easier to develop with it. And when you learn the framework, you learn how to develop really fast websites. I actually specialize in Genesis frameworks. Um, Pat Flynn with Smart Passive Income, he created a blogging site and a podcast, making six figures. Um, amazing guy, great, great website. Pippinsplugins.com, Pippin Williamson. Young developer, he started, I think, developing, and his dad was a computer engineer. He started really young. I think he's only like 24, and he's developed some of the biggest platforms, uh, including easy digital downloads and a couple other things for WordPress. Cue the music. All by myself. <laughs> so how can you build a WordPress business? I, I like the little tent by itself. So other WordPress business models, that's what I'm going to talk about today. You hear this all the time, affiliate marketing. Um, this is a big piece of WordPress, and this is what a lot of these companies like Pat Flynn, they're making that recurring revenue every month via his WordPress blog. He promotes other products and talks about talks and interviews other people about those products and how they work in entrepreneurship and business. Lead generation. And I'm gonna, this is where I'm going with this today. So, create value for another business. Sell space, directory, search, and social. So keep those three in mind. Think local and you'll make money. E-commerce, create products and sell them. Or, 
These go hand in hand, affiliate marketing and e-commerce, promoting other people's products. And there are amazing WordPress plugins that will allow you to do that. So what is WordPress? WordPress is an open source platform, meaning that it is something that is open to the community for developers to develop anything around it. So what is amazing about it is there's been so much development over the last couple of years, it's become the largest platform used, one of the largest platforms used, I won't say the largest, but it, it takes up about 22% of the web space right now. So that just shows you something. Why should I use WordPress? Because WordPress has one of the largest communities of programs working to extend and improve its capability every day. And how long until you can make money with it? Uh, you can start making money tomorrow with it. That's the beauty of the platform. Weekly blogging will expand your brand voice and help you be found and help customers. So what do I need to get started? I'm just going through some basic stuff here. You guys probably already know this. URL and hosting. Your URL is your domain that you buy. I just bought one today called musicianshire.com. That will give you an idea of what I had around her. I suggest domain registrars. These are the two that I recommend. There are tons of others out there. I like Namecheap and GoDaddy. I don't buy hosting at GoDaddy. Um, stay I don't away from buy hosting at GoDaddy too, but I do buy domain. Yeah. Yeah. Recommended hosting companies. I'm going to talk about a couple. So these three up here are WordPress managed hosting. What does that mean? Well, what they do for you is they make sure your plugins are secure, your website is secure, your your plugins are up to date, um, and their hosting is often very amazing. It will it will carry large bandwidth, so if you get a lot of site visitors, it'll carry that. Bluehost and SiteGround are the two that I would recommend. They are shared hosting. SiteGround does have they do have VPSs too as well, but they're not strictly to WordPress management. Some of them, like Bluehost, is offering a WordPress managed system now, um, and I think SiteGround may too as well. But um, those are the hosting companies I would recommend if you're looking at hosting. And I'll have these slides up. I'll put them on my site. And um, that's at the WPEntrepreneur.com. So there's differences. There's two differences. You have WordPress.com, which is their own hosting solution, and WordPress.org, which is the nonprofit side of WordPress, that gives you the WordPress download to bring to your server. So WordPress.com, just going to run through a couple things here. WordPress.com focuses on beautiful content. They only offer so much, uh, there's, they only offer so much to that platform. They have a lot of themes that you can find there. Um, there are things you can't do on WordPress.com, like upload a plugin. You can get plugins from the plugin directory, but any plugins that are outside of the plugin directory, called the WordPress repository, those cannot be used on that platform. So you're limited with WordPress.com in ways. It's getting better, but you're limited. WordPress.org, taking that file, bringing it to your own server, getting it working, and now you have a WordPress site. Um, and you can do anything that you want because it's on your own server. Does anybody have questions about that recently? Um, if you have questions, you feel free to ask, um, as long as you think they're really important relevant to the topic. So um, you need to find a theme. You don't have to find a theme. You can hard code your own theme, but you need to find a theme. If you want to get working right away, find a theme that will work. So these are the different things. Genesis Framework, Brian Gardner created this. Genesis is one of the largest frameworks, fastest to use. Go to themeforce.com or .net. Themeforce.net has multiple things. And tons of developers. These are just recommendations. I'm not saying that anyone's better than the Headway themes, elegant themes, templatic. What I like about templatic is they are creating WordPress themes for people to turn around and sell. I mean, like right away. You can literally buy, like, they have directories that they're creating with extensions. Um, and I'll we'll, we'll walk through some of that. Page lines and items. Affiliate marketing. The first thing I recommend to someone thinking about affiliate marketing is to look at a hobby or a passion that you love or enjoy and start there. 
Once you figure this out, check to see if there are affiliates with these products around your business idea. Do some keyword research via Google AdWords keyword tool to see if the niche you chose is something that people are looking at, and if it is very if, and see if it's very competitive. Um, these are things to consider before stepping and offering stepping out and offering something. Once you've clearly done your research, now it's time to move forward with WordPress and get started. So, in the affiliate marketing side, these are the big guys. So you have Amazon Associates. You all know probably what that is. And believe it or not, I went there the other day. They're offering their own platform. You don't, you don't even have to get a WordPress site. You can build it your own shop with Amazon now. Uh, ClickBank is another company that sells products. People put their products on there, and you get money for affiliate. Commission Junction. JVZoo is really around the technology. JVZoo sells plugins, all kinds of different things, marketing, um, SEO, all kinds of different programs. Link share, same thing. Share sale is a very big, uh, this is used a lot in the, in the WordPress uh, community. A lot of theme developers are using this, as well as uh, some other marketing companies. So in fact, Genesis has their own share sale account. So if you're a Genesis affiliate, you go to ShareASell, you sign up for their affiliate, and you share like a new theme. Hey, this Genesis theme just came out. Check it out. Amazing. Do a review on it. Get that link over, you get money. Somebody buys it. That's how that works. I don't have to explain affiliate marketing, do I? Anybody? So here's some suggested WordPress plugins for affiliate marketing. Affiliate WP. This plugin is amazing. You can literally take your affiliate links, bring them over to Affiliate WP, it's on your WordPress site, save them, and you can create short codes and all kinds of stuff to use them later on. And you can even create keywords that every time that you type that keyword in, that link will show up there. You don't even have to put it. Thirsty Affiliates, another one. IO Publisher is for placing ads on your site. So you want to have somebody, you say to a company, hey, we can offer you, get so many visitors, now we have ad space. Uh, and you can place that code anywhere that you want. I really like this because I'm work I was working on a business called Shop Local AZ and working on something like that for that. So AdPress, another ad, ad plugin. And then this WP Keywords to Link is a lot like affiliate WP, but it has less features. Tech Phoenix. So if you want to tweet this, um, want to generate a passive income with WordPress, try to think of the first week. And I'll tell you why I'm going to, why I say that in a second. It's actually an organization called Local First Arizona. Local First Arizona, yeah. Um, lead generation. I think the easiest way to create value and start generating revenue is to look at niche businesses or ideas within your own community that solve problems and tackle it with lead generation. For example, on the next page, you're going to see businesses that have done just that here in Arizona. Find a topic that you like or a business that you want to help and start there. Build something amazing and people will pay you. Hope I'm not talking too fast. These are local businesses that have done something. Local First Arizona. They are a nonprofit, yet they make thousands and thousands of dollars a month. And how do they do it? Via ad space. They they also sell things for local businesses. I'm on there as a designer. They have a huge directory. Local Dines, another guy that started here in Arizona, started an advertising company around dining local and going out filming these companies. And again, a lot of these are WordPress sites. I think they're on WordPress. I think they're on WordPress. I know Restaurant Live is on WordPress. She, I uh, can't remember her name. She was here last year, spoke. That's how bad Um. She spoke last year, and she has a, a podcast, and she goes around and she interviews restaurant owners. And again, it's advertising for them. That's how she makes her money. 
in-house cooks. I just came across this the other day. I went to AZ Tech Beat. If you want to know about a tech company that's covering a lot of local, go to AZ Tech Beat, subscribe to their blog, inhousecooks.com. Now I can be a cook at home and make money. I can basically cook for other people. Local Revive Magazine, they're local too. They started a magazine around just the local vibe here in town. By the way, Arizona is amazing. I mean, I, and it's getting better and better, I think, in, in, in terms of a lot of the different restaurants, cuisine, everything that we have a selection of here in Arizona is awesome. Arizona Highways. Now, again, it's a magazine. But again, it's just showing you that, hey, there's another, there's another source you could hit. I came across this because I am trying to get in this niche here of recurring revenue. I want to create lead generations for businesses where I get paid when they get a contact. Toppoolbuilders.com, they're one of the guys that does it. I, call, I actually submitted a form here, and I got a call from a guy the next day. Are you looking for a pool to build? I said, no, I'm not. I'm actually looking to see how you're doing this. So I got contacts from all these pool companies, and I said to them, okay, so this guy's basically selling leads to you. That's all I needed to find out. So again, a website with a simple landing page and a contact form with pool builder logos. That's it. Local Lily, another local business, Networking Phoenix and Late, late, late Living, Senior Living Video Tour Director. So suggested plugins for lead generation for WordPress. And I'm doing them in order. Um, Gravity Forms, amazing plugin. It's one of the oldest in the WordPress space. It will literally allow you to create any kind of custom form you want. And the thing I love about it the most is that it has add-ons that will allow you to connect with things like Zapier, where you can take that data and push it somewhere else. Uh, Crystal talked about that in her talk today. Um, PayPal integration, Stripe integration. You can take payments with that plugin. Uh, Ninja Forms, it's very similar to Gravity Forms, just a newer build. And leadpages.net is amazing. It's a great way to put, make lead pages that are very simple, very fast, and effective. Um, and who asks a question like lead pages? You know what I mean when I say a lead page? Okay, a lot of people do webinars. So what they'll do is they'll create a lead page. They don't go to, directly to their website. They'll use a lead page to literally get people to sign up. So for like, you know, Shannon Hernandez, he's doing he's a guy that spoke on podcasting today. He just did a podcasting, um, started a podcasting uh, webinar. And he's using lead pages to basically have people sign up. So it's kind of it's kind of like this. You could do this in in WordPress, but this is a very faster way to create something. Lead generation plugins for WordPress. Visita. Visita is awesome. Um, Visita, basically, as a consultant, I have that on my site. Somebody comes to my site, there's a little box that pops up on the side that says, hey, would you like to talk? And they are, would you like to talk to me about WordPress? And then they can go and book me for an hour, a couple hours. That's what that plugin allows you to do. So booking and it integrates with Google Calendar and a couple other things. Opt-in monster, lead-in, sumo me list builder. I'm, not, I'm just going to Kubar. Kubar is a drop-down bar. You see that on a lot of websites. That's what's on the TechPeans site today. Except it didn't look good on mobile, so I had to go in there to remove it today. I was like, I hate that. So it's a free plugin to a certain extent, but they have a paid version. Rafflecopter. This is awesome for local business. If you really want to drive, if you really want to help a local business, Say you create a directory, and you tell this business, okay, I'm going to help you generate leads. This will help them do that. They can offer different things, like if you like our Facebook page, you get this. If you tweet this, you get that. So Rafflecopter is an amazing plugin. Pop-up domination, that's pop-ups, and same thing with Ninja pop-ups. Um, Many solutions for e-commerce platforms. I'm just going to go ahead. So WooCommerce. WooCommerce is, and again, these are a lot of these are free platforms to start out. So just the base is free. 
You're not having to pay a monthly subscription like you do with um, Magento or some of those other companies. So WooCommerce. WooCommerce has add-ons for this plugin. So all those are like PayPal. You pay for that add-on and you'll pay for it once. So it costs you 40 bucks for that add-on. Now you can use PayPal with your WooCommerce. PayPal is included in WooCommerce free, but like PayPal Pro, Stripe, all that stuff, they have extensions. Exchange, Jigga Shop, WP Commerce, and this one is a very new one called Easy Digital Downloads. Easy Digital Downloads is for if you want to sell PDFs, MP3s, videos. So think of it not like this, where you're selling an item that somebody gets shipped to their house but something that somebody gets online. So the guy who created this was Pippin Williamson, and this was probably one of the best creations in the WordPress space in the last couple of years. I think it's only two years old. Okay, so on. These are just a list of plugins. You guys can, I'll, I'll get you guys a PDF. I'm gonna walk through some stuff in WordPress. Here's a list of tools for productivity that I would suggest you look at. Design tools, you hear a lot of people talk about Canva. Canva is one of the largest uh, graphic design platforms out there right now. Guy Kowalski is the actual, is he the, that's, he's something, he's a big part of it now. Um, CreativeMarket.com, I love this site. People need to know about this. Creative Market is, will allow you to sign up. You get free graphics every week. So they send you three different downloads you can get per week. And then you can go onto their Facebook page and get three other things. So if you really want to get into more graphic design and learn, they even offer WordPress templates too. So it's just a cool thing. Dollar Photo Club. Cheap photos. If you're looking for cheap photos, you don't want it to spend a lot of money. That's 10 bucks a month. And you have photos. Browser tools, bit.ly.com, a link shortener. There's tons of them out there. Um, Bufferapp.com. Feedly. Feedly is the new Google Reader. Do you guys remember Google Reader at all? So Feedly is that. Feedly is amazing. Feedly works really well with Buffer and also with Hootsuite. Um, Harvest Time Tracker, I use that with Asana, which is a project management tool I use for businesses. So when I'm on time and I'm doing something in Asana, a task, I have a button I can click and I, I can say, okay, I want you to assign that to something in Harvest. Now I can build that client for so much hours. Um, I have TTT. That allows you to, what does that stand for, do you know? Yeah. So it allows you to do basically automated processes. Somebody likes, now I know Twitter doesn't like this, but somebody likes you on Twitter, you can create something in IFTT to say, when that guy first person follows me on Twitter, send him a message for me. You can do automa automa automated things with that. Pocket allows you to save things to um, an application called Pocket for reading later. I do a lot of that later, so. And join me. WP Beginner websites for uh, to follow. Um, WPBeginner.com. They use the Genesis framework. WPExplorer.com. They may use it. I don't. I'm not sure, but these are the these are the different sites I would suggest if you want to learn more about WordPress. And I want to dive into WordPress just to show you. Uh, just a couple things. Some of those plugins that I that I just talked about. Okay, so this is a standard Genesis thing. Uh, just disconnected. Okay. Um, this is what the Genesis frameworks looks like plain. Um, they have a lot of other themes. I'll just go to Studio Press real fast. This is a parallax theme. 
parallax is the where you get a lot of the um, new websites where there's images in the background and scrolling effects. Now keep in mind these are set themes, so they're they're you you would have to know how to do some coding where you just use what they what they give you. Agency Pro is a great theme for realtors. This will hurt, this will hook up the IDX solutions as well and allow you basically to showcase homes that you're selling. Uh, okay, so we'll go on. I just want to go to the back end of, of the site. That's cool. So I have a new project I'm working on for a client called, he's starting uh, A Firm Creative, and or it's called the A Firm. I just want to walk you through a couple plugins to show you what plugins I use on quite a bit of my sites. So Admin Menu Editor Pro, I will show you what that does. If I go to Settings, you see this sidebar here? I can change this stuff with that plugin. I'm going to have to walk through some of this fast. So I can go in here and say I want to bring pages up here. Let's put a spacer between posts. Put a space between media and forms. I'm going to drag products up here because I like my WooCommerce stuff up top when I'm when I'm logging to the back end. Um, background. And we'll just save that. You can change menu icons and all kinds of stuff with that plugin. Anti-spam. Having spam on, having forms on your site, you're going to get hacked. You're going to have tons of bots going out there trying to hit your forms. Make sure you have a spam plugin, either a CAPTCHA plugin or whatever, to keep that from happening. I like this plugin. I've used this on all my sites. Haven't got a single bit of spam with this plugin. And you don't have to put a CAPTCHA form in, which is awesome. I hate those capture forms. Does it work with gravity forms? It does work. This works with gravity forms. In fact, gravity forms, if you go to gravity forms, under settings, if I create a new, uh, let's see, settings. Um, yeah, well, the RE capture plugin works with gravity forms, which is the big, that's the biggest one that's out there. But yes, you can go into full, it will work with gravity forms. Um, oftentimes you'll have a, you have a sidebar in WordPress pages sometimes. You know, you put your posts, you see them all the time. People will put their contact form there. One thing that WordPress does not offer is a WYSIWYG editor in your sidebar. This is one of my favorite plugins. And it literally adds, lets you use a visual editor in your sidebar. So, and then you can also do custom HTML as well. But I like this because if I want to type something simple, or if I want something simple in the sidebar, or a plugin, I'll use that. Uh, ultimate short codes. This will allow me to put a, a button in the sidebar. So let's just do like a, something simple like a button. Is there a button here? It may not be. thing I like about this is this will give you um, a lot of customization. You can check a few icons um, next to text, next to these list items. I'm just going to insert the short code, save it. You can see that, see that over there. Slider plugins that are out there on the market right now. Um, just go through some of that. There are ones that are going to bog your site down. So always be, when you're looking at a slider plugin or something that uses a lot of jQuery to, to, to show things, make sure you're looking around. Soliloquy is one of the best that's out there right now. And it is one of the fastest loading sliders. And there are add-ons for this plugin. I haven't added them on yet, but I'll show you. I'll go to settings here. Uh, under 
this will be, and I'll show you. I have the developer's license for these. They sell those, because I do a lot of work with, with clients. But this would be like a carousel, looping around. You can do custom CSS on the uh, sliders. Dynamic add-on does a lot of other cool stuff. Featured content add-on, Instagram add-on, white box add-on. They have themes for the sliders. That's the theme add-on. And you see a lot of plugin developers doing this now, too, because they don't want to bulk your site up with stuff. So they're starting to take features and putting them in separate plugins. Um, Pinterest add-on and then the thumbnails add-on. I'll show you a site that I just did with some of this stuff uh, I'm working on right now. So menu icons up here. This is a Genesis theme. Very simple. I use what they call Visual Composer. It's a drag and drop editor and it is available at Code Canyon. The drag and drop editor, this visual composer is probably one of my favorite pieces because it makes my development very fast. And again, it's something that I'm going to keep on the site. Um, visual composer, I've, there's been a lot of people doing stuff around um, these drag and drop editors. Visual composer does leave short codes. There are new visual, there are new uh, drag and drop editors that are not leaving short codes. Does anybody have a question what a short code is? Short code is a code that gets basically put in this page on the back end of the website. And it will look something like BP dash column with brackets on it. And what it's doing is it's saying, hey, let's grab that code from this plugin and we're going to use that here to show this. So when you when you decide, oh well, I don't want to use that plugin anymore, you deactivate it, you got a ton of short code you have to deal with. But most people aren't going to do that. This plugin's awesome. I think it has, God, what, five, six thousand downloads in the, in maybe more than that. So this will allow you to do some of this stuff. Um, let me show you. What was the name of it? Visual Composer. Um, so I want to just go to Code Canyon. I'll show you the show you just how immense this is. In Bottom Market owns all of these companies: ThemeForest.net, Code Canyon. This is where you can get WordPress plugins. So say you wanted to do something where you want to do booking agency. So now I can find a plugin that does booking. This is actually an awesome one. If I go to Booking Wiz, I can preview a lot of these plugins, and I'll show you what you can do. Booking form. Look, payments. I want to book two people for this event. So again, Code Canyon is like my best friend um, when it comes to finding solutions fast that will work for a client. So I guess what I'm trying to do in this workshop, I'm literally done right now, is show you that you can build a site and make money on it. And how do you do it? You do it by offering value to, to a niche. So for example, I was talking to somebody earlier last week. There is a com there's a company, Uber, which is taking up a lot of uh, taxi services, limo services, a lot of their space. Now you have taxi companies that are not doing well. You have limo services that are not doing well because of this competitor. Well, how do we look at a solution that may be able to help them? Maybe you create a directory. You offer marketing to that limo service that nobody else is doing. They don't know how to do it. You look at social. Social is a big piece. A lot of people don't want to deal with social and they don't know social. So if you can learn how to integrate your WordPress site with social media and marketing, you have a product. So that's what I'm trying to show a lot of people, and that's what I want to train people with my business, is how do we take the passions that you love, the things that you like around, 
the pastors that you love and figure out a way to market that. So um, there's a lot of other things. Wish list member will allow you to set up a site where you can literally create uh, content that people subscribe to and pay for. Um, I did that actually on a company called Coffin DW. The guy does data warehousing training, Teradata, Teradata training, and he's created a whole video series. So we gave, we created membership levels where people can subscribe to those video series. So again, there's multiple ways to make money with WordPress. That's what I'm trying to show you. But again, think local first because often what people do is they say, you know what, I want to go for the big guns. Why not try and create something amazing in your community and help somebody in your community? That's where I'm going with you guys to be on your phone. So I hope you like that presentation. I know it's like cut off kind of short, but a lot of solutions. Does anybody have questions? One of the things I always tell companies is you need a logo, you need a slogan. And when you said themes, is there places for people to get logos and slogans? Yes. I know a lot of places. Fiverr.com. F-I-V-E-R-R, -R, right? Two R's. Two R's. Two R's. Two R's. If you, if you want to find developers, Elance is a good place. Um, I would stay maybe even away from Elance because of the way bids work as well as freelancer.com. Oftentimes you have to scrape through all kinds of crap and you don't want to have to deal with that. Lots of people who are bidding you under and then you have to like, it's just a waste of time. They're not giving you the information that you need to put. So look at uh, things like, um, if you're looking for amazing developers, look at onlinejobs.ph. I do a lot of work with developers in the Philippines. Amazing culture. Why are they amazing? Because they're English. They study English. Great group and, and very hard workers too. You just have to monitor them. You can look at onlinejobs.ph. I use Harvest with that group of uh, developers because I can I tell them, hey, you need to log your time. You put when you're working on a task in Asana, you hit that timer button. If I don't see a time, you don't get it. <coughs> so, um, another thing is. Um, Trying to think of that other one that I just I just started using. Like, there's there's all kinds of stuff out there that people are developing, uh, but there are and you're developing your own. So, talk to Carol. She'll she'll have something soon. Crystal. Oh, Crystal. 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 Sorry, Crystal. So, um, you got the C right. Yeah. Yeah, you got the C right. Um, any other questions? When you're utilizing a lot of plugins, do you always like once you're done utilizing, you disactivate them or delete them? No, you leave them activated. Leave them activated? Yeah. And then it, the other thing is, you know, when you get a new plugin, I always, when I get a new plugin and I'm uploading it to a test server, I'm always looking at to see what it does to that server. Is yeah. it going to be, the other thing is, let me show you here. Just, I'm going to go into your add new. I'm going to put in something that I did earlier today. So that, let's do the menu editor. This is where you look for them. These numbers are very important. This here and this here is very important. Yep. Looking at the number of downloads and when it was last updated. This one looks good. Probably does a lot the same that Admin Menu, menu Editor does, which is this is the one I have installed. has 523,000 downloads. Um, page Menu Editor over there on the right, that's actually a, another one too. If I go to grab, I don't think Gravity Forms is on there, but it might be maybe a free version. Yes. So Gravity Forms. Um, that's NL. Okay, here. Stripe. If anybody's looking for a new payment gateway, look at Stripe. It is phenomenal. Um, it doesn't have all the, the uh, the um, bloat and a lot of the regulations that PayPal has, and you don't have to pay all those fees. Like PayPal Pro, 
to use gravity forms, I think with PayPal, they have a PayPal Pro account, you're having to pay them money. Stripe is awesome. They do subscriptions. They do, yeah, they do subscriptions for like monthly billing and stuff like that, but just an amazing payment gateway. And they're, they're taking up the space now. I mean, PayPal's still big, but they're gonna grow. Um, again, here's another add-on for Gravity Forms, a Salesforce add-on, if you're working with Salesforce. Um, so that's probably a lot for this, their CM, CRM side. Somebody fills out a form, hey, I've created some new contacts for me in, in, in Salesforce. Now my team knows, hey, let's contact that person. Um, just a lot of cool stuff. Um, that's so much to cover. Yeah. Um, tools to use. Um, if you're wanting to use something that where you can tie all your social media accounts, I'm going to go out of WordPress. Look at Hootsuite. And there is also a tool called Buffer App. And one of the things I like about Buffer App, there's a developer who created a plugin for it. And basically what Buffer App does, it allows me to put that license key in here from Buffer or the license key that he gives me. And I can say to this, when I create a new post, hey, I want you to share that to Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and it'll share to your Buffer account. Um, Hootsuite may have the same thing. I don't know, I haven't really looked into that yet, but I'm going to be doing that because I just moved over to Hootsuite from Buffer. But Buffer is still a great tool. Um, I think of anything else. LastPass, you mentioned that earlier. So LastPass is great. You need something to remember passwords, like me, who works And generate strong passwords. Yeah, strong passwords, generate them, yeah. Yeah, LastPass is a great one. Um, what browsers does everyone use here? Let's show of hands for Chrome. Um, Firefox, still a good browser. Um, Internet Explorer. Safari. Yeah, that's what I was like. Safari. <laughs> Safari. Safari's a good browser. Yeah, is he Apple based? Netscape. Opera. Yeah, Opera. Yeah, yeah there Netscape was a big. Netscape was great in 1999. You know what? There was a was it Opera or somebody? They're still really oh, going was, strong, and they had a they had a conference. They had a conference around the browser. Still use Opera. Yeah, Opera. So uh, yeah, Chrome. Let me show you why I love Chrome. Okay. Just real fast. <laughs> Chrome will allow you to develop in the browser. Yes. So if I go up to this header, I'm going to say, you know what? I really don't like that color. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to change it. Oh, my God. That's pretty cool. I was good on the option command J. Do you? Okay. Command J? Option command J, yeah. When you select on something? Like it's the console. It's the same thing here, but it consider the console. But I can put JavaScript code right in there. Oh yeah. Yeah, I get the return code and stuff like that on the arrows. So now um let's go to this wrap. There's a lot of padding on that. I really don't like that much padding. I take it out or I didn't want to go minus. But I'm gonna take it out. Let's see here. I can't oh. see very well um, over here. Safari can do this too. Yeah, Safari, yeah. Um, I'm going to go in here and change this color to uh, white. Change this color to white. Or... And there's just a ton of cool stuff you can do right in here. And then when you're done designing, I go here, styles.css, command all, copy, and then go over to my style sheet. Select all, paste, update file. You're getting a little bit of CSS here, so now it's updated. Do you have a tool that that verifies the do you have any dead links and things like that? There are there are there are plugins out there that will look your will scrape your site for dead links. And often what it'll do it'll you can automatically put a uh, or return or redirect right to your home page or whatever it's up on that. On that I think that's W3C. W3C? Okay. You're talking about the development company? No, that's or a test that, program. Yeah. It's the best editor. 
Oh yeah, W three C. Oh, that's your that's standards. Yeah, yeah. Validate standards. your code. Yeah, validate yeah. your code. Okay. Um, but one thing I love about Genesis is you can build a fast site for somebody or a business and then turn it around and you know either rent it out or sell it. My my thing that I'm getting into now is a lot of local SEO stuff. Um, local local has changed with uh, the Google Google Pages placement. So you know every time we go to a map and we look for something, that's what we're getting. We're seeing their Google Pages or their Google. We're, we're seeing their listings, but it's connected to their pages. Um, look at look at ways to build a niche around something. So right now, I set up. Maybe this has been a while now. But I'll show you a site that I set up just with a landing form. Shop local easy. Now. I just type that in Google, Instagram. Let me see if I took if I put the spaces in. So local first Arizona is showing up right there, and I'm right here. So I haven't done any SEO by the way on this site. All I did was do strong titles and strong made it stuff. It's just this idea. Think about this too. When you're looking at domains. Look at ways that you can put things that you want people to search relevant right in here because this helps. So, for example, um, site I'm working on right now, I'll just show you. Here's our normal services. I want to go to let's see what we have in here. Anyways, this is that's a directory, that's a directory theme, and if something's going on, but there should be limo services here. Slight. This is what I'm working on right now. So trying to create something with a strong keyword in it, Arizona limo services. So if somebody's looking for a limo service, they'll often just put in Arizona limo or AZ limo. Um, you can use those as a really big advantage to building a uh, business. So. Cool. So if you have questions, you can just email me at um, my main business is Mike at Agogo Media, A G O G O Media, M E D I A dot com. That's Mike at Agogo Media. Cool. When you have multiple WordPress sites you're working on, are they all different installs? They're all like in their own area. Uh, local. I have them on a on a on a, my own hosting yeah. So if I have a new idea, what I'll do is I'll take that domain, I'll buy it, put it in there, and start working on it. I use a plugin that will do a lot of that landing page stuff, but I don't even have to set the ads. I can continue to work on it on that live server. And not have to worry about anybody seeing it. So I'm doing that with that limo service, and that limo company, um, you know, different stuff like that. Because I think, and that's what I was trying to tell you, you know, it's where do you where do you create value when all these other businesses are are gonna help each you no matter what. So you gotta find ways to do it. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, probably. How do you, how do you, you have a sleep? Sleep? Oh, you know, that's, I, so you're sleeping, yes. but I'm yeah.
I guess it is, and you just try to just come to your Chinese book and I'm like, yeah, go on, learn that. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. So I use, I do use this thing to manage all my WordPress sites. It's called Infinite WP. Mm -hmm. well, and I have all, all my WordPress sites, basically. So I can go into the back end of any of them, because I'm working with these clients every day, and if they send me something, I need to go to the back so This is a solution that you buy yourself, and you bring it to your server, just like WordPress. So you don't have to pay that monthly fee like you do with, like, Manage. Yeah, there's, there's also Manage WP. Oh, just thank you for if you want to pay that on a monthly server. But I love these guys. They're based out of India. The, the, the develop, development team is amazing. And the cool thing about it is um, I can go in here and now manage users. I can add users to this platform. I can do malware scans right on the site. Um, backups. I can check the iTheme security plugins to make sure they're good. Monitor their webmaster tools, page speed, Google Analytics, and look at their WP SEO by Yoast information. It's 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 awesome. So and, I, and that's for me. I'm always trying to find those things that are like, what's going to save me some time? Yeah, that'll help. Thank you, Dad. Yeah, that's interesting. From me. This is the key. Now, could you make it into a good one? So you do a computer service area. Yeah, I'm not sure. In your spare time. Holy cow. Hand coded it back in 96 and had a piece of it. Well, you know, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Well, I need to really up refresh this. The problem is I paid a bunch of money this morning. I got a stop box back when we started. Like, I didn't know anything about it. They gave me a simple site box. I had some money at the time. But now, I signed up and paid $100 an hour. You got a card? Oh, I got a card. Yeah, I got a card. I'll go grab it and I'll give it to you.